Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the most eagerly anticipated fights on the card. We've got two lightweights with us, James Nakashima and debutant Sagid Izagakmaev. We're going to start with you, James. You had two really tough matchups, and this is the first time we're seeing you compete in a year. How's the preparation been for this mentally and physically after suffering those setbacks? Oh, it's been great. I'm, I'm totally ready, locked in, ready to go. Sagid, big debut for you. Big test as well. James Nakashima, how do you feel about this challenge? Uh, Sagid, привет вас. Um, этот бой будет такой uh, достаточно, ну, во-первых, первый и интересный бой. Как вы чувствуете себя ну, перед этим боем? Приветствую, приветствую. Я, я, как всегда, я уверен в себе и в своей победе. Я приехал сюда за, за победой. И нет никаких проблем, чтобы подраться с Джеймсом. И то, что он бывший претендент, меня это никак не устраивает, только радует. Я привык драться с сильными оппонентами. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh... Well, uh, it doesn't really matter to me, like, uh, if it's a first fight for me or it's a debut. Uh, I'm, I'm fully ready. I'm very happy to face James. Uh, he has a good experience in one championship, so uh, it's, it's going to be a good fight. James, we know how much you believe in your wrestling, that you can beat anyone in the world. Has Sagid got anything to test you in that regard? Are you the better man when it comes to the wrestling? Oh, he's a world-class grappler. Trains under Khabib at Eagles. We'll, we'll find out. How do you think this fight will going? Is that what we're going to see? Are we going to see a real grappling test here? Or do you think uh, we're going to see a very mixed contest? Yeah, I see two well-rounded, complete fighters. I, I see a war of attrition. Sakid, what about your wrestling? Do you see anybody able to test you on the ground? And do you see yourself as the better wrestler here. Сергей, что насчет вашей борьбы? Считаете ли, что она лучше против вашего соперника? Насчет борьбы, ну, бороться, конечно, я умею и защищаться умею, и атаковать умею. Ну, с борьбой у меня нет проблем. И я также знаю, что Джеймс — это бывший выходец из вольной борьбы, из школы борьбы Америки. И посмотрим, бою видно будет. Но я не думаю, что... Джеймс сможет где-то меня перебороть или удержать где-то на полу или что-то сделать. Посмотрим, бою все скажется. Uh, you know, about the wrestling, well, I would say I know how to be, you know, I know how to attack, I know how to defend uh, in, the, in the wrestling, and I know that James is the, the you know, is the ex-wrestler in, in, uh, in America, so he has a good, you know, J uh, wrestling background. Uh, but uh, I would say uh, we will see in the fight, but I don't expect him to be better on this fight against me with the wrestling. James, we mentioned a couple of tough fights for you, and, and you said you weren't yourself against Shinya. Do you think it's going to be a case of seeing the real James Nakashima in this fight? Absolutely. That's what I spent this whole last year, you know, recollecting, reinventing, and just, I can feel it. I'm ready to go. I'm excited, man. It's going to be a, it feels good to be able to get out and perform again. Do you think with the hype surrounding this fight with Habib, being in his corner, with him coming off of two wins, do you feel you're being painted as the underdog here? No, I don't. I don't really. I didn't even think about that. I don't really know. Is that ever a factor for you? Do you prefer being the underdog or do you prefer being the favorite? No, I don't. I don't really. It doesn't matter. Saki, do you feel pressure to make a statement here that it's your debut and there's a lot of anticipation behind this fight? Сагид, если какое-нибудь волнение, то, что ну, это твой первый бой, это дебют, и какие-то, не знаю, прогнозы. Нет, волнения никакой не чувствуется. Но я, как всегда, уверен в себе, и я бы сюда не приехал бы, если бы я волновался бы за что-либо. И, как я сказал, я наоборот рад, что у меня сильный соперник и бывший претендент. Я могу заявить о себе. А... No, absolutely not. I don't have that. Uh, I'm, I'm fully relaxed to this fight. And uh, as I told, uh, I'm so excited that, you know, I'm, I'm fitting James Nakashima because he's an uh, ex-contender to the, to the belt. So it's, it's going to be fun. James, do you think Sagid has any kind of advantage having Habib in his corner? Or is that something that's emphasized by the fans and the media? No, I, I, I got my brother in my corner. We've done this together, you know, my entire career. So... I uh, I feel good. I feel prepared. I don't. I don't. 
I don't, I don't look into that stuff too much. Sagid, how significant is it for you having Habib in his corner? I believe he's never lost a fight as a coach or a fighter. Uh, Сагид, как насколько ну, очень важно для тебя иметь Хабиба э, в углу? Э, он никогда не проигрывал, ни как, ни как боец, ни как э, тренер. Да, Хабиб мне уже как... А я скажу, Хабиб мне как брат, я вырос с ним. И когда он бывает у меня в углу, это чувствуется особый настрой. И, э, и конечно же, от него бывают правильные подсказки в бою. И вот э, именно в бою Джеймсом, я думаю, у нас будет борьба, и правильные подсказки будут решать в этом. Yeah, having having Habib uh, in in my corner is is really significant. Uh, he he's my brother. We were training uh, for almost fifteen years, and uh, he always gives uh, like you know the correct hints. And I'm sure with James, he will give me that too. Sagid, I read that you feel that you have the same style as Habib and Islam. You know, very strong in ground and pound, lots of smashing and imposing your will on the ground. Is that what you expect to see here against James? Uh, Сайгид, он, он говорит, что он прочитал, что ты говорил, что у меня ну, примерно одинаковый стиль боя, ведение боя, с, как Хабиб, как Ислам, это на земле, на граунде, потом в стойке смешанное, да. Ожидаешь ли ты то же самое выполнять именно в этом? Да, ну, раскрывать свой план я сейчас не буду, но у нас есть определенный план, и я буду его придерживаться. Но Ислам и Хайб это, конечно, они мне тоже посоветовали, это мои постоянные спарринг партнеры, с кем я спаррингую. Есть план, буду его придерживаться. You know, like, I'm not going to reveal the plan uh, of uh, what, what will happen. Uh, there is a plan, we will follow that plan, but of course, uh, uh, you know, I've, I've been uh, having my, my sparrings with Habib and, and, and Islam, and, and definitely there's something to learn there as well. James, you already have a win over an Eagles MMA fighter, Magomedaliev. Does that give you extra confidence here, knowing that you know how to beat that style? No, I don't. I don't think they have similar styles. I, I think that uh, I think that they're they're pretty different. I think that that would be like, you know, him if he were to have fought Benson or if he was going to fight Benson Henderson in the next, you know, after me or before me, and trying to say that we have similar styles. I just it, it, it's too it's too dynamic and too. I don't I don't see that. Following on from Mayoki, when this test came up. Did this feel right to you? Did this feel like the, the right challenge for you right now? Sagid is a world-class MMA fighter. That's what I want. I want to fight the best. I want to be the best. I want to, you know, I want to continue to grow. And I want to, you know, I want, I want these big stages. I love this. I love this pressure. I love this game. How happy are you at lightweight now? Uh, is this where you are strongest? Yeah. Yeah, it's my natural weight. It's really easy for me to, to walk around this weight and to, to be here so feeling good so james has fought for a welterweight title in one championship how pleased are you with this challenge and where does this put you does this send you straight into the top five do you think uh so get uh james draws uh uh the boys and uh how do you how do you how do you know about them do much and do much that they post the papier the at the kind of pasta to be a push of racing here a blizzard kick boys да, я посмотрел последние бои Джеймса, и, я, ну, вообще, когда еще меня с ним не связали, я тоже смотрел его бои, я обычно всех своих потенциальных соперников смотрю. Да, Джеймс крепкий соперник, я думаю, после этой победы я, меня, я заявлю о себе. Да, uh, о yeah, Джеймсе, like, uh, I watched his fights, his couple of his fights, and uh, you know, even before one championship, uh, you know, I always, you know, look at my you know, opponents uh, in my in my weight division. Uh, so um, about him, uh, yes, I watched it, and um, after the win, they definitely will push me, you know, close it. Sagid, what do you think of James's biggest weaknesses as a fighter? Сагит, а что, что ты думаешь по поводу слабых сторон, скажем, Джеймса? Не знаю, но я его посмотрел много боев. Там в боях особо такого заметного ничего не было, что он где-то слабый. Я сказал бы такой, а, Джеймс это более универсальный боец, где борется и где бьет. В бою уже я на все эти вопросы 
that much. Uh, watching his fights, it wasn't like really noticeable. He's kind of, you know, diverse fighter. Sometimes he does this and, and sometimes he's different. So uh, I think in the fight, I will show what's his weakness. The same question for you, James. What weaknesses do you feel you can exploit of Sagid's? Man, like I said, Sagid is a world-class MMA fighter. This is a game of inches. There isn't much separation here. It's going to be very important moments in this fight. Like he said, you know, we'll find out the fight. You guys come from uh, two of the powerhouses in terms of wrestling, American wrestling, combat sambo, Russian wrestling. I know that we touched upon it earlier, but who's going to win in that battle, do you think? Which is the strongest style, the American wrestling or Russian grappling? And I believe in the American wrestler, but you know, I uh, the the Russians are right there too. So it's uh, you know, I don't I believe in myself, and uh, otherwise, you know, I don't think you belong in this game if you don't believe in yourself. So American wrestler, the Russian combat samo. I I don't know anything about all that stuff. You know, I uh, I believe in myself. I believe in the American wrestling, and uh, I'm excited. Sagi, do you believe that the Dagestani Russian style of wrestling is the strongest for MMA? And, and is there any style in the world that can compete with that? Sagi, do you think that the борьба Dagestani is the strongest in the world? And is there any style that can be more than the Dagestani style? I don't know. But again, I think that it's a matter of fact. Of course, the Dagestani style одна из самых сильных в мире. Но и бывают случаи, конечно, исключения бывают, но я думаю, да, ну, считать из тех, кто э, в лидерах, это, ну, большинство дагестанцев лидируют именно в борьбе. Uh, I think it is. Uh, you know, Dagestan wrestling is, is uh, you know, as it proved, one of the best in the world. Uh, and among you know the the leaders, if you look at the Olympics as well, uh, uh, Dagestan uh, Dagestanis are uh, you know uh, at, at the top and the number one. So there are exceptions, but yes, I, I believe the Dagestan wrestling is is very strong. James Sagid has uh, two losses on his record, the same as you. Have you watched those losses, and did you learn anything from those fights? Yeah, of course I. I try and handicap all of my opponents. So I watched some of his fights and took away some stuff and we put it in the game plan. How important is it for you to finish an opponent? What would it mean for you and your trajectory to get the finish of a Sagid with his reputation? At, I mean, at this point in my career, my career, I was just talking to Rick, you know, it's, it's very important to, you know, finishing or the decisions, whatever, just perform and be exciting and uh that's what it's a big uh big message i'm telling myself on this my career from here on out this fight you know we're thinking bigger you know great performances creating great special special performances sakeed a lot is expected of you but you seem to enjoy those expectations are you putting the impetus on yourself to get a big finish here Or are you just looking for a win? Сагид, много ожидается от тебя в этом в этом бою, и но кажется, что ты именно наслаждаешься этим моментом. Думаешь ли ты, что ты его как бы но финишируешь, либо же дойдет до до решения судей? Не знаю, посмотрим. Я думаю, ну если будет возможность, конечно, я постараюсь выиграть досрочно, но все в руках Господа, посмотрим. You know, we will see. We will, we will see in the fight. Like, definitely, I will uh, push harder you know, to finish him. But of course, everything is in the, in the hands of God. So we will see. Sagid, I've seen you mention the likes of Eddie Alvarez and Okrayun in interviews. Is this your chance to send a message to those guys? And is that what's next to you if you get a big win here? Um, we saw that you sent a message to сообщение Альварес и его, его оппоненту предыдущему. А, как бы, ну, это, этот бой, который ну, ты ждешь в этом дивизионе, в этой организации? Да, ну, когда я еще был маленьким, я, ну, я еще был молодым, особо 
известности не обладал, но меня никто не знал. Я смотрел бои Эдди, Аоки. И, конечно, для меня это да, большое удовольствие подраться с такими бойцами, которые были чемпионами ну, многих организациях мира лидирующих. И победа над ними это даст мне многое. А ОК, ОК, он чемпион нашей организации, только поэтому хочу с ним драться. Yeah, when I was uh, younger and, um, you know, just, you know, on the, my on the early stages of my career, pre preparing for my, you know, for my fights, uh, yeah, I was watching, you know, the the stars like Eddie Alvarez uh, of MMA and Shinya Yoki, of course, and, uh, you know, I was always, you know, admiring them uh, and enjoying that. Uh, but uh, about Oki, well, Oki is the champion and I just want to uh, beat him, then that's it. James, you know Shinya well. Is the victory here your path to getting a rematch and getting back in the top five? Yeah, I would, I would love that rematch, but I'm, uh, you know me, Andrew. I'm locked in on on this fight, and uh, that's that's really all that's on my radar right now. Absolutely, we have to ask though. You know, we have to ask. We're always looking ahead to those next matchups. Um, you've won a world title, James. You know what it's like. How significant is that to to transition from just beating people? To winning a belt and, and how important is that knowledge going into this fight for you and i mean yeah i like that it was you know, i fought some really tough opponents fighting for those belts and uh five round fights and they all went the distance so it was huge experience for me yeah and uh you know i happened to weather some some tough moments in those fights yeah it's been a lot of experience and yeah, it'll definitely pay off on a similar note Sagid. Habib knows better than anybody what it takes to win a belt. What has he taught you about that champion mindset? И Сайди разговаривали с тобой Хабиб по поводу вот, скажем так, менталитета вот как чемпион, да, он 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 сам был чемпионом, получил этот пояс. Были такие беседы с ним насчет вот это вот именно мышление как чемпиона. Это как бы таковых мышлений не было, так как, а, чтобы дойти до титула, мне нужно выиграть минимум пару боев. И когда я уже буду на этой стадии, я думаю, мы будем все разговаривать об этом. Well, not really. I didn't, I never uh, had that, you know, conversations with him. Uh, the, the most important is step by step going to that belt. But once I have that belt, I think we will, we will get that conversation. Sagid, if you get this win, will we hear you say a name on the microphone? Will we hear you choose your next opponent? Если ты победишь этого своего сейчас которого оппонента, ну назовешь ли ты бойца с кем ты бы захотел подраться сразу после боя, вызовешь ли ты кого-нибудь? Ну пока у меня есть оппонент с кем нужно мне подраться и кого нужно мне выиграть, это Джеймс Накашима. Я только сконцентрирован на Джеймсе и только после боя я могу что-то о, о чем-то подумать или сказать. So as of now, uh, I I have my focus with James Nagashima. I already have the name, so let me focus on that. But after the fight, well, we will see. We will see who I'm going to call out. James, you've won three times in this promotion. You fought five times in this promotion. You know this promotion. You know Singapore. He's a debutant. Is that going to be a factor here? No, I think he comes from from a great gym, from great coaching and stuff. I think he'll be totally prepared for something like that. I, I don't think that it really affected me too much either. So I just think at like I don't know at this world class level, I, I don't I don't think that I don't think that matters too much. Do you have a prediction or a feeling about how this fight's going to go? Yeah, I, I, like I said, I think it's going to be a, a fight of inches, and I think it's going to be a war of attrition and. Uh, and I just think there's going to be really important moments. And uh, that's about it. We'll just see. I, I don't really, I can't get into that stuff. Like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a soothsayer or somebody who can predict the future. So just, just, I'm excited to perform, man. It's been a good year. I'm prepared. I'm ready to go. Fantastic. And Sagid, uh, same for you. Do you have a, a feeling for this one? Do you have a prediction about how it's going to go? Сагит, и вопрос тебе. Есть какие-то, может быть, предсказания по поводу этого боя, как, он, как этот бой пойдет? Таких предсказаний нету. Ну, 
Как я сказал, у нас может быть борьба, может быть, мы будем стойки перестреливаться. Посмотрим, в бою видно будет. Не могу сказать. Uh, like no specific uh, predictions, you know. As I told, like we, are, you know, during the fight we will we will be wrestling and we will be, you know, striking. So uh, everything we will do depends on the, uh, during the fight. So we will see on the fight. James, we've missed you. It's been a year. So what's the plan for 22? Are we going to see more of you? What What's on the agenda? Yeah, I mean, trying to live, you know, live in the moment. I'm still trying to figure out everything we got to do today. And I'm locked in on Saeed. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in 2022. Saeed, do you have big plans for this year? Saeed, do you have big plans for this year? Yes, in the end of the year, I have plans to make a minimum of three fights. And I want to get to the title. Do you have plans for this year? Yeah, of course. I have the plan until end of the year I'm planning you know, to, to at least have yeah, three fights and uh, be closer to, to my fighting belt. Brilliant stuff, guys. We cannot wait to see how this one pans out. Thank you both for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you.